everyone, it's Marina from Diamond Painting with the Besties. How are you? I hope everyone is doing well and enjoying their weekend. Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new, welcome. I hope you enjoy my content. And if you do, I hope you'll consider subscribing. Just go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the little notification bell next to it. And that will let you know every single time that I upload a new video. So normally, um, I usually don't post on Sundays. However, I had to get this up um, ASAP because I was so excited. I have seen my other creator friends like Abigail Marie and Nurse Rachel. They both posted this video or posted a video with this kit, but I did not watch it because I wanted to see it for myself. Sometimes I go ahead and watch those videos early if I'm undecided, but this one I had already purchased and I wanted to see it on my own. So ladies, I will go back and watch it after I see it with my own eyes. So anywho, let's get into it. We have a diamond art club. You can tell by the box. You can also see it says diamond art club right here. It is a square and you can tell because it says square, it, there is a blue square right here. Um, a lot of kits have been coming out lately that I've been getting happen to be square. Some people don't like them, some people love them. I basically go by the image. I don't care if it's a square or a round, I just get it. So what did I get? I got Medusa by Christopher Lovell. And let me tell you, when I saw this, I gasped, like my mouth, my jaw hit the damn floor. It is a square diamond paint kit. It is heavy. It is a 70 by 99 centimeter kit. So she is big. She is also sold out. However, never fear. It is not a limited edition. So there will be a restock. Um, just go ahead and you can go to the kit itself throw your email address in and you'll be notified when there is a restock of this kit. Um, I will link it below so you'll have quick quick access to it. I also got this kit for Brad. It's one of his graduations presents since in a little over a month. He has like six, six weeks to go and he will be graduated from nursing school. I will get my bestie back. You guys will get your other half of Diamond Painting with the Besties back since I've been holding down the channel. So anyway, enough of me running my mouth. Let us look at this beauty, you guys. So real quick, well, I'll tell you about what I think when I hold up the little sticker. So let us see. We've got our box. We've got, let's get that over here. All right, so this kit comes with the older kit right here. You've got your baggies, you've got your pen, you've got two plates of wax, you have the sharp tweezers, you have a squishy, a boat um, with a with a spout, and then you've got a couple multi placers in here. This is a very, very nice tool kit. Um, it's all you need, plus a little extra for diamond painting. Here is the little sticker right here. Some people like to throw it on the top of their box or the side. Excuse me, other people like to use it for their logbook. Um, I use it both for my logbook, the big sticker and the little sticker, but here it is right there. So you guys, it's, I'll wait till, you know what? I'll wait to tell you what I think about the image when I show you the big sticker. So here's our Diamond Art Club dust bag. It comes on every single kit. It's branded and it says, do what makes you sparkle right here. Um, I usually don't put it back in the dust bag because I usually destroy it or I just don't bother. Oh my goodness. Yeah, and I destroyed that. So that's gonna go in the trash right here. This is heavy, you guys. Holy drills. Holy, look. Oh my God, this is a lot of drills. So the drills are labeled with the name of the kit, Medusa, with the kit number right there in case um, you choose to store your drills separately. You also get a pamphlet with step-by-step -step instructions, a thank you note from the owner, little directions, and a 10% off your next purchase. 
So we've got that there. Hmm. All right. I'm going to try to unroll her so she can rest a little bit before I unveil her. This thing is huge. We'll have to take a tour of the canvas afterwards. I'm probably shaking you guys like crazy. All right, we're gonna leave her like that. So here is our big sticker. Look, oh my God. So when I first saw her profile, her face, the first thing that came to my mind was Aaliyah when she played Akasha in, um, oh, Jesus Christ, in the Dracula movie. What was the name of the Dracula movie? Oh my God. Yeah, when she was the vampire. Queen of the Damned. I can't believe it took me that long. So her profile and the very first look of her face, I thought of Aaliyah. I was like, oh my God, Aaliyah. This would be Aaliyah if she played Medusa. May she rest in peace. All right, so here's our big sticker. You've got the title. You've got your start stop date. We only have 20 colors and this has two ABs. And AB stands for Aurora Borealis. With Diamond Art Club, you can always tell what drill is an AB because it is under uh, the DMC code, under DMC code 150. So anything below 150 will be an AB. And all of this is a special shiny coating that was over the top of these drills to make them sparkle you know, extra bright, and it makes all the other diamonds around it sparkle. I am so excited to see this. Like, oh, and there's the measurements right there. You guys, I am just... All right, so this is the bottom. So this looks like it is pretty... Gonna lay pretty flat already. So here we go. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. <gasps> wow. I am literally speechless. You guys. Holy cow. It seems like every week or so, like it's always getting better and better. Diamond Art Club is always pushing forward. And just when you think it can't get any better, it gets better. So let's, I'm rolling it so we can, you guys can see. So up at the top, it says Diamond, uh, do what makes you sparkle, Diamond Art Club. We do have a legend right up here. In the upper left, I'm just gonna peel the plastic back a little bit so maybe it'll rest. Um, Diamond Art Club's canvases are made, I begins with a T. I can't exact, remember exactly what they're made out of, but they're the only ones in the market and it just helps them lay flatter. Let's look at the um, drill field real quick since we're already up here, but it is just, you guys. So you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of, with all the black borders around the snakes and everything, it reminds me of how uh, Mandy Manzano's art is with everything with the black border. Um, I just, I am like speechless. And you guys know that I'm like never speechless. Let's get into it. Oh my God, her earrings, her face. She's huge, that moon, her nails. Oh my God, you guys. All right, at the bottom, I'm just gonna pull this plastic back so it'll rest a little easier. There we go keep having to adjust you guys. This cam is so big. It is very, very sticky. Very, very, very sticky. We have another legend that is in the lower right hand corner. And our 80s is a 112. So I'll be interested to see what that is. 
It almost looks like it's a dusty pink. And then the signature 141, which is the white. Thank you, Diamond Art Club, for making one, one, and two, two. That always makes it easier. Really basic symbol, symbols. It doesn't really look like any of them are confusing. They're just your pretty standard symbols. Um, so right here, I love her hand. I love it. I think this artist is new, I believe, to Diamond Art Club. I've never seen, um, and if I have seen, if they have had his art, um, I've missed it, but this is just stunning. I love, like, I'm going to have to look in the picture. If this is supposed to be the ends, like her, because I know that her hair is mixed with snakes and hair. Like, so I think like these are all, these must be, all be the snake's tails here, but they're like kind of curled like hair. Right, can you guys, is that just me? It kind of looks like hair, but I think this is like the snake's tail. I love that part of her gown is attached with a wristlet. I love the way that her hand is. She is so stunning. Um, and if you guys are not familiar with Medusa, she is one of part of, you know, Greek mythology and that Anyone that looked at her, they would turn to stone. Um, I'm sorry, you guys. I'm just, I'm really just taken away by this. It was like when I saw it, I literally posted on Lindsay at Life with Lindsay on her Facebook group. I put, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> sorry for the vanity. How much confetti is in this? I have to have this. And the way that it is looking is it's a lot of color blocking confetti. Her face, you know, there is confetti through here, but with that black border, I just think it's more like color blocking confetti. She's just ginormous, you guys. And I'm just trying to kind of make it for you guys to see it as best as possible. Her earrings are stunning. Um, the flowers with the snakes all in her hair. So all, I can tell already, all the snakes have AB eyes. So for her though, I'm interested because letter C is in her eye. And that is a 414. So that's like a gray, but I wonder if I got some 414 ABs if that would make her eyes glisten some more. Like, I kind of think like this is one of those less is more where you don't want to, I wouldn't want to bling this up too much just because these the color palette is so surreal. Like, it's mesmerizing. I mean, what do you guys think? I mean, I mean, I love Diamond Art Club, don't get me wrong, but I have not been this mesmerized or infatuated since in such a long time, especially when I got my my Adventure Time canvas, which is on a whole different level of, like, speechlessness. I, oh, excuse me. Oh, my goodness. I absolutely love whatever this design is in the background right here. I really love that too. And this is bothering me. So let's see if I go like this, if it'll lay flat. So enough of me like gawking at this and you're probably like, Miranda, what the hell? We're not going to sit here and listen to silence because you can't get your words out because you're just like, so like, gagging on this eleganza right here. So let us take a look at our ABs and what actual colors are in this canvas. All right, so we're gonna be like this for a little bit. I'm getting, as you guys can tell, I'm getting a little bit more comfortable with my new um, recording arm Bryant got me. So there is 
a whole bunch of 310 in here. I, you guys, I'm sorry. I do not want to take these out. I will never get them back in. But I'm really curious. Ugh. I'll just do it gently. How about that? So we can get a better idea. Oh my God, it's sliding. Because it's so big, sliding to the ground. All right. So we know we have a bunch of 310. Um, we have this really pretty gray, purpley white kind of. 762, that's really nice. These four five twos at Dusty Rose. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh no. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just seven bags of 310. But I want to find these ABs. And this is. Where are you? All right, so I found the first one. It's that one, 112. That is gorgeous. That is going to look so, so pretty. We just have one bag of that. Let me put it back in here. Did anybody else get this canvas? I had a feeling it was going to sell out. I don't know how quickly it did. So if you guys know how quick it sold out, just let me know. I just need to find this white AB. It's like, oh, that's 3865. Wow, that's it, you guys. That's it. We got a bunch of stowaways in here, some little round drills. But here's our 141, so it's just that tiny little amount, which is okay. That's totally okay. All right, so they got this like that. All right, I'm going to be right back because I am going to put this back in, and you guys shouldn't have to wait on me. I'll be right back. So that wasn't so bad. I'm going to put these over here, and now I'm going to... Flip her back over. And we're gonna check out where these ABs go. Now I'm not gonna point out every area, but I'm going to be moving her up and down just so I can find that. So we found out, we already know that, okay, so down here, there are some ones and twos right in, right in here, right? And there are one, so there's lots of two, there's some twos throughout here. Right in here. Um, not really any in here. Well, there's some more ones. Oh, okay, I see them. So there's ones, uh, this whole corner is a mixture of ones right here. And they're sprinkled throughout there. Now let's see where else I can find. I keep thinking the ones are the white, but they're not. And I have to keep folding this just um, for room so you guys can kind of see everything. There's no ABs over here. That I can tell we've got some twos all in the snake's eyes. So that's where the majority of those are on the snake's teeth right here. And then again over here, there's a bunch of the ones. And I don't see really any more at the top. There's some twos right up here. Yeah, that is just 
It's beautiful. So, so beautiful. All right. So I forgot to tell you guys on the sticker sheet, if you're new. So these are all pre-cut labels right here. And then all these on the side are also pre-cut. So if you need them for extra containers, um, if you need room or anything, you won't... Um, you can just write on them and put them on your extra containers if you have extras. I love the ornate detail in her bustier and I'm excited to see how that's gonna turn out um, on the actual canvas once the drills are put on here. I'm expecting this to have incredible detail because it is a square, but just the rendering itself is incredible. I like that she's got, um, it's almost like, this is just my opinion. It's almost like she has already turned to stone. I mean, there's different ways we can interpret this. She's already turned to stone. I'm saying that just based off her colors or it's at night and she's lurking. Um, but the snakes do seem to be alive still, which tells me that she is not dead. I'm hoping her eyebrow is as fierce on the canvas as it is in this picture. I love the highlight on her cheekbone. This will definitely get done um, very this year. It will definitely get done this year. Um, I might, after my chuck pencil for the chuck along, I'm gonna have to probably take a break and do something small, but this is going to get done this year, very, very soon. Um, I have to. It's so beautiful. All right, you guys. Well, that is all I have. I'm sorry that I wasn't super, super talkative, but I was literally in awe of how gorgeous this is. If uh, Christopher Lovell's artwork is like this, I really hope Diamond Art Club or is more, if all this stuff is kind of like this, I really hope that Diamond Art Club brings more of it to the website because I absolutely love it. So bravo to Diamond Art Club and thank you to Christopher Lavelle for allowing it to be licensed and it can be shared with us. I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna put this back in the box and I hope you guys have a fabulous rest of your day. Remember to be safe and be kind. Bye.